Hello YouTube, Pinchy08 here. Well, it has finally, finally arrived. The very, very last of the um, um, Spin Master Monster Jam creature packs featuring a Pirate's Curse truck with the mascot Captain Black. And I believe this was a little bit late coming out. I mean, we've already gotten a few of the um, um, mascot sets like this where we've got a Max D with the action figure Maximus as well as... A grim action figure with a grave digger like that. We're going to take a look at these a little closer towards the end of this video. But for now, since this this set just came in, we're going to take a closer look. And I will tell you, the packaging definitely does look a little bit the same as it did with the grave digger and Max D one. And I will tell you, the, the Captain Black pirate figure is a really unique looking figure. I can't wait to show you guys this very closely. And the Pirate's Curse, um, uh truck with, that it comes with has a little bit of a different variant to it and I that I've heard from most GMO CD and of course here's the back of it if you wanted to see it Monster GMO CD already reviewed all three of these and he said that this comic book artwork that you've seen on the back of these is done by a guy named Neil Vandenberg and usually writes a little bit of a comic strip I mean excuse me strip and I've already read the um, uh, Gravedigger ones and the Max D one. Now I'll read to you what it says on the Pirate's Curse one. It says, A tale is carried across the vast seas, lifted by winds and whispered by groggy-eyed sea... Um, uh, sea firers. I don't know what that means. It is a tale of a Pirate's Curse, a brave treasure seeker who started down in the unknown and bore its mark then the rest of it's written in various languages and as usual it will say unleash the beast so without further ado let's get these two right and so here they are now out of the box it's a uh, kind of hard to keep these trucks in the shot like that because i don't know what to say i create all kinds of hills on my mattress and all sorts of stuff like that and it just tends to roll away we'll take a look at the truck later but here's our captain black figure and it's really really incredible and as you can see the right hand definitely correctly has the um, uh, golden hook which definitely depicts the uh, golden hook pictured on the right side of the pirate's curse truck and of course, there is the usual three-cornered hat like that. Definitely depicted like that on Pirate's Curse, I believe. The eye patch and all, and the skeleton face. And the uh, bandana on the back. Really, really unique. But of course, the one thing I noticed different is that if you're able to look on the left foot, the left foot has been replaced by an anchor. And I'm almost a little bit worried that it would have been hard to keep him a little bit balanced on things but I noticed that the bottom of the anchor is a little bit flattened out so you can always find different ways to balance out Captain Black like that but other than that really really unique detail on this guy and I believe the head here does have a lot of articulation to it a lot of articulation on both hands of course as usual no articulation on the um, uh, elbows and the knees and the wrists and anything like that because these are meant to be lower priced um, uh, kind of figures. Because usually action figures, it was said by Monster GM OCT that, well, have a lot more of that articulation are tending to cost a little bit more. Alright, and here's the Pirate's Curse truck that it comes with. So, the only thing I see detailed so far is that it's got a translucent red or slash orange roll cage with red rims. There's also a different color here on the sword and the dagger. And of course you could see there's a gold tooth very, very visible over there. That's really, really impressive how they got the gold tooth like that. Yeah, I believe this is a very pure um, uh, gray coloration on the sword and the dagger like that. Too bad Captain Black here is not carrying or a sword or has a dagger like that in his mouth. But I guess that's how it's meant to be on the... Pirate's Curse Truck. And of course, one thing to say about Captain Black, he was also the um, uh, mascot as well for Captain's Curse until that truck retired. So now he's with the Pirate's Curse and all. So that would do it for the last of the creature packets like that. So here's the Pirate's Curse one. And then here's Max D with Maximus. 
And then, of course, to wrap it up, we got Grave Digger with Grim. I think I'll put it over here instead so I don't get my foot in the shot. And I believe I did learn something about Maximus here is that long ago when they created him at first, he was originally called the Creator of Chaos, which kind of does make sense because the way I think the words Max D or Maximum Destruction was meant to be, well, very chaotic and unstoppable, but... I'm glad that they changed his name to Maximus like that, because I guess they wanted to rename this robot like that to something that's, well, a little bit less chaotic. And I agree that Maximus sounds like a very, very less chaotic name like that. And obviously, out of all the three trucks that come with these action figures of their mascots like that, I think the most detailed definitely has to be Gravedigger. I mean... Take a look at these three. You'll actually notice that Max D and Pirate's Curse here, they do not have any colored tires at all. I mean, look, only Gravedigger is the one with the cream white tires and red rims, while Max D has its usual black tires with some um, uh, tangerine orange rims. And Pirate's Curse still has his black rims with just the red rims. I mean, black tires with red rims. I think they could have improved by painting the tires on Max D a silver like that to match everything to do with the Maximus robot. And I'm not sure what color they could have painted um, uh, the um, uh, tires on Pirate's Curse. But I do know that in Mix 6 there is supposed to be a Nitro Neon's Pirate's Curse. And I don't have that much of Mix um, uh, 6 as well as Mix 8. I still have yet to get more trucks from those. So I'm not completely finished yet with um, uh, the 2019 series yet. But I still feel that these creature packs were a really great way to kickstart my um, uh, 2020 season with Spin Master Monster Jam. And I especially love the detail with the Grave Digger. How they removed the passenger side door like that. And only kept the driver side door. Because it is true that the real Grave Digger would have only had a driver side door. So no need for a passenger side door. So here they are. The creature packs. All three. All for one and one for all. And I'd say this is a good start to mix one. And I don't know if Spin Master has any plans on doing the other mascots or so. It would have been fun to see a zombie mascot with a zombie truck. Someone I think mentioned in one of my comments like that. And I agree with you, whoever you were who wrote that comment. But anyway... The creature packs are now complete, and I cannot wait to get any more trucks laying out on the road like that. So, other than that, thank you for watching. So, until next time, this is Cameron at Pinchy 08, signing in, pinching out. Take care.